and good evening everyone. Welcome back to Time Travel Talks. Today we are traveling back to the year 354 AD. We have the pleasure of talking to St. Augustine of Hippo, one of the Latin fathers of the Christian Church. How are you today, St. Augustine? I'm doing well. Thank you, ma'am. How are you today? Great, thanks. So, St. Augustine, tell me a little bit about your life. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? Of course. When and where were you born? I was born on November 13, 354 AD in Tagaste, New Media, present-day Algeria. My original Latin name is Aurelius Augustinus, which was later changed to Augustine. Very interesting. So, what was your childhood like? My father Patricius was a pagan man and my mother Monica was a Berber Christian. I had a brother Navigius and a sister Perpetua. We were a respectable but impoverished family. My father did everything he could to help all of his children succeed. He wanted to make sure that we received a good education. That was very important to him. Looking back now, you must really appreciate everything your father did for you as a child. Of course, tremendously. I understand that you are a professor of rhetoric. Would you mind telling us what that is and how you became a professor? Ah, uh, yes. My education continued at uh, Medora, which is the center of education in Roman North Africa. It was about 20 miles south of Nagase, where I grew up. I was sent to study rhetoric at the age of 12. Rhetoric is a study of persuasive speech, which would then be used for a professional career such as law or public life during that time. So, tell me how you found religion. I had to return home to teach grammar for a year while my father saved money for my further education. A year of doing nothing led to me not making very good choices and getting into some trouble. I left home again when I was 21 to study at Carthage, which I would call a cauldron of illicit loves. Here I entered into a long-term relationship with a woman that I loved dearly, and we had a son, Adidas. Um, at that point in time, I then became a Manichaean, or Hera. My mother was not happy I sided with the Man Manichaean's beliefs since it went against her Christian values. Manichaeism is a pseudo-Christian sect where goodness was thought to be manifested in what belongs to the realm of light, knowledge, spirit, and soul. Evil, or darkness, was viewed as connected to ignorance, matter, and the body. I was attracted to his dualistic concept of human nature because it allowed me to avoid accepting full responsibility for my moral failures, basically allowing me to hide behind my beliefs to engage in things that were considered wrong. After re reading uh, Serrero's uh, Hornetius, a strong desire for true wisdom was awakened in me. I abandoned my career as a lawyer in the imperial service and began to question the meaning of evil and the power of sin. Hmm. So, why does religion play such a significant role in your adult life? When I was in Hippo, I started to start a new monastery. The sermons of Bishop Ambrose had a huge impact on me, which led to my discovery of the Christian faith. At the time, Honorius Emperor had granted legal recognition to the Orthodox Catholic Church in Africa. This gave me political power to help the minority. So, out of all of your books, which book are you the most proud of? Hmm, I would have to say Confessions because it was the first book that I wrote. Uh, the majority of it is an autobiography consisting of 13 books which discuss my sinful use and youth and then my conversion to Christianity. So, why do you think your books are so significant to the history of the time period? Well, Confessions is important because it is considered the first ever written autobiography of the Western world, but more importantly, it is considered to be an influential model for modern Christian writers throughout the Middle Ages. It has set the standard for Christian writings. That is very fascinating. Well, thank you again for joining us today. Thank you. Next week, we will be talking about the Hagia Sophia. Have a good night, everyone.